what's up guys and welcome back to another Chelsea career mode episode 12 I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today welcome back to my channel and if you are new hello welcome I am Ray or bunnies welcome to my channel today we are doing episode 12 so if you are new and you want to go get all caught up on the rest of the other 11 episodes feel free to go down to the description box below there's going to be a Chelsea playlist that I have all the episodes in if you want to get all caught up but if you are returning to today's career mode channel I have some stuff I want to get done today. I want to make some position changes on a couple of players I think I maybe have forgotten to do that and uh, last episode we you know We, we tried out some different rotation um, Players especially like starting off the those like second rotation players and we actually had some some good luck we did lose one game but honestly i feel like that's just to be expected we won every other game and we are still currently i want to say second place in the in the standings but i'm not 100 percent sure we'll see but i hope that you guys are enjoying this chelsea career mode uh series if you are be sure to give it a big old thumbs up if you're new don't forget to hit that sub button with your bunny paw to join the bunny family and uh when you subscribe don't forget to turn on notifications or click the little bell that way every time i post a new career mode you guys never miss an episode I know this series has been a little bit sporadic with my uploads. Usually I upload like every day or like six days a week, but the Chelsea career mode has been a little bit sporadic. So making sure that you like turn on notifications, you won't miss any of the episodes. But if you missed the last episode, there's going to be a link down in the description box below as well for episode 11 so you can get all caught up. But without further ado, let's get right into today's career mode episode. Okay, so like I said, we are in second place in the standings. We were only one point underneath Spurs, which is actually really exciting. I'm really happy to see that we do have a game coming up against Spurs Which I'm really nervous about because if we can land this game and we can win this game Oh my god, that can literally be a game changer for us. So hopefully we we win uh, right now Our squad is the normal squad that we have and we have Warner, Zayek, Pulisic, Havertz, Pulisic, Conte, James, Koulibaly, Declan Rice, Chilwell, and Donnarumma So I am gonna be starting them out instead of like a rotation team starting out just because this is such a big game for us At least in my opinion. All right, so it looks like we're at risk of losing Tiago Silva. I don't really want to re-sign him. I want to try to get him um, sold if we can. So let me actually put him in the rotation squad. That way maybe we could... Uh, oh, he is in the rotation squad. He's really unhappy with us though right now because we, we actually took him out for Tamori and then uh, we didn't want to re-sign him and we put him on the transfer list and his morale went really low really quickly. So it literally, he was like 100% almost and then the like, next game he was <laughs> all the way down so let's get right into this game the first game of the, the the day all right so let's attend this press conference in hopes that we could boost the morale of our team and um maybe burrs i'm hoping is your squad big enough to keep up i'm gonna say we'll need everybody ready do you have tontingham spurs worry i'm gonna say it's not our job to like worry about their state of mind what do you think will happen today another win i hope yo yeah! <laughs> let's get into this game all right so we are going to be away at this game so we are going to be blue uh and they are going to be assumingly the white dot nick you can cut here like the plan of attack here would be to get an early goal and just kind of defend honestly that is what i would like to see obviously i want to get as many goals as we possibly can but I just want to just I don't care if we just win by one point I just want to win against the Spurs because this is huge for us literally a game changer <laughs> Nick cut that little part out I burped <laughs> all right here, come on baby oh we got the ball back let's go you got this make your way run it oh okay 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 look I'm not I'm not mad yet Oof. what was that I thought it was gonna be like you know connected but it wasn't not too much is happening so far we're only 16 minutes in 17 minutes in but i feel like for the most part it's just been kind of back and forth nice all right i'm gonna jump in it's around the 22nd minute let's go ahead and see if we can make our our way up and maybe score yes bang bang let's go baby let's go <laughs> Zayek out here. Bow, bow, bow. All right, that was actually, I did not think that was going to work out as well as it did, but wow, I'm very happy with the way that just played out. Uh, oh, 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 okay. I don't want to run Warner too much because we don't really have a striker right now to sub in for Warner. Um, I mean, we have Abraham, but we are, we all know I don't want to play Abraham because he's just not like, you know, he's just not really a great player for us, sadly. Mm, trying to. Oh, very 
nice, Donnarumma. I was doing a little weird stuff with James, but oh, 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 oh. No, I did not just do that. Boom. Get that out of here. Donnarumma. Yes. Pass it up this way. All right, I'm going to pass it right up here. Oh, no. Bale, man. Bale is, you know what? I, I think I'm underestimating Bale's power, you know? Uh, you know, all the walking on the golf course got bail, man. You know what I'm saying? It's got his, uh, it's got him conditioned, you know? It's got stamina of a beast. Woo! I was hoping we'd be able to... Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. I don't even care, Conte out here doing that thing, baby. Mm. Yes! Oh! Oh, yes! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Oh my god, Donnarumma, you... Flippin' filthy animal, you! Ugh. I need to find somebody, though. I'm gonna cross that up here. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Nope, I did not mean to do that. Bang, bang. No, I didn't mean to. I mean, I meant to do that, but I didn't think I was gonna be able to get to the ball. Okay, that was a little bit of, like, ooh. <laughs> Little ooh, kind of play moments there, but it's okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sim the first half of the second half now. Um, it is currently one nil. Hopefully we can make it two nil. Honestly, I'd be really happy if we could make it two nil. If we can make it two nil this like earlier uh, in this round, I'll probably put some. Oh, I'll probably put some uh, some substitutions in. Sorry, uh, but it just depends on if we're like, you know, above. Ooh, come on, one nil. Like if we go to two nil, I'm comfortable. If not, then I'm not really comfortable. I don't think making the substitutions in a game like this, because this is a really big game for us. At least like the way I'm looking at it, it's like a, it's a fantastic game for us. If we can beat them, it knocks them down a little bit, you know, and it knock, boosts us up a little bit. So come on, baby, you guys got this. This is literally for like the, no just, oh. Maybe I'm putting too much pressure on him, maybe. It's always nerve wracking to see him getting close. No, oh, thank Jesus. Oh my god, it's nerve-wracking to see them getting close to your goal, you know? We haven't scored any yet, but honestly, I just want to keep them from scoring. Oh, I'm actually going to jump in because I just realized it is the 80th minute here. Oh gosh, I am jumping in. Look, you know what? He, My dude was in my way on that one. Like, why would you run directly in, oof, in front of me? Yes, yes. Yes, fools that you got this baby boy. No, that was literally for Warner. Why would you not give that to Warner? Oh my god. Zayek out here being the man of the match. Man of the match, Zayek. Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know what is happening today, but Zayek deserves a, a buffet to eat after today's game. My man, two goals, the only goal scorer in today's game. Uh, and honestly, I would say he deserves a raise at this point. He is coming in clutch with this game. Just being in the right position and like finishing his shots nicely dude okay zayek what the heck was that i don't even know what that was man i'm not gonna lie Oof. Oh. oh wait was that a header <laughs> was that a header yo oh my god that was a freaking header by havertz bro look at we pass it i try to pass it to get a little tap in and havertz says i got you guys holy crap dude that's freaking gold all right, it is the final, oh, that is the whistle. I was gonna say it's final minute, but that is the whistle. 3-0 against the Spurs. This has been a game worth like documenting, dude. I'm so excited with how we just won that game. We had four goals, they had four goals. We just finished our goals. So 3-0, let's go. Why did you leave Azpilicueta out? I'm gonna say the team has to come first. She's not really happy right now. Not in a game like this, you know? A great win and great performance from Zayek. I'm gonna say I couldn't have asked more from him today, dude. He did fantastic. Uh, what a great win. How important was that? They couldn't handle our attacking. All right, so wait a second. We get done from that game and we got, we got a little surprise email. Red Bull has expressed an interest in signing Tammy Abraham for a fee of $38 million. $38 million? He's worth it between 36 and 53. So honestly, I'm not mad to try to get 50 for him. I'm gonna negotiate and see if we can get 50 mil for him. If we can get 50 mil for him, honestly, dude, that is a huge seal for us. Do 50, he might walk out, but hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he's a good sport about it. We're gonna say 59, come on, say yes. Ooh, 
That's a deal where I'm reading at $50 million? We just sold Tammy Abraham for $50 million. Oh my God, now just cross your fingers. Hopefully this goes through and they don't break down on negotiations. Hopefully this actually works out. That could be huge for us. $50 million added to our budget for another striker. We could get some really great potential in for that kind of money. Not only that, we do have more money coming in as well. Uh, once, you know, obviously all the deals come through. All right, so it also looks like we have a youth player, uh, Jules, who wants to be promoted. So let's take a look at Jules. Where is Jules? He is, he has the potential to be a 93 rated player. Uh, he is currently a 65 overall. He's 17. You know what? I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'll, I'll promote him and then put him on, um, loan maybe. Uh, that way, you know, maybe he'll get a little bit better while he's out on loan and then he can come back and be a stud. So let's go ahead and let's see where he's at. Jules LaRoe, let's add him to the loan list. And then it looks like Zayek made the tabloid. Zayek managed to get his name on the score sheet in Chelsea's 3-0 win in Tottenham Spurs. Yeah! Chelsea claw back, ground on Spurs. Absolutely. All right, so then in the club news, it looks like Warner's loving Chelsea's chance. I think Warner likes us as the manager. That makes me really happy. The life of a football is not always a happy one, but Timo Warner is certainly content at Chelsea. Following the match against Manchester City, he spoke of how happy he is to play under Bunny. Yeah, let's go. The boss and I have a good relationship. I like the way she manages the club. He said, it's good to be selected for the first team and I value her as a manager. I hope that I can be successful and help the club achieve great things. Honestly, kind of a dub. So it looks like when I first got Declan and actually moved him into the center back position, I didn't put him uh, like training and developing as a center back. I kept him as a CDM. So today I'm gonna actually train him as a center back and that way he could be in his right position um, at all times instead of being a CDM in the center back position. So it looks like our youth player is happy to be, uh, you know, loaned out. He said it might just be what he needs at this point in his career, honestly. An international, you know, proposal from Norway, which is pretty dope. All right, and then it looks like we have another youth uh, player, Fabian Salmon, who wants to cancel his contract because he wants to be moved up. So let's see where Fabio Salmon is. Uh, his potential is 82 overall. Uh, he's 54 rated at the moment. He's 18. Um, I don't really think he's necessarily like needed, uh, or really even that great to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna just leave him be. Like if he wants to leave, he can leave, but I'm not gonna promote him at the point. So it looks like we have another youth. There's like an uprising in our youth players right now. Axel also wants to be brought up. Where's Axel Dufres? Oh. Okay, Axel, right? Axel, right here? Okay, you know what? He has some serious potential. He's a 91 possible overall rated. Um, that's his potential. His overall right now is 54 and he is 18 years old. So I'm not mad to promote him and put him on loan. I'm also going to be releasing all the players who are like in the 70 rated because honestly, or like 70 rated potentials because I don't really care for them. You know, it's not going to, they're not actually going to do anything, I don't think, for our team. And I feel like we're just wasting money at this point, kind of throwing it at these like 70, 82 rated players. Like even the 82 rated player, I think we should just let him go. We'll just see him in anyways. He wants to go. He's not really happy here. So keep a couple. All right, so here's Axel. I'm gonna go ahead and put him on the loan list for now. Um, and hopefully somebody picks him up and can maybe train him up a little bit. But it is a game day nonetheless against Fulham. Let's get right into this game and see what happens. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and change my mind. I'm going to do some, some team managing real quick. I'm gonna put in... Uh, a couple players, I'm gonna put in, ooh, I'm actually gonna put in Tiago Silva because I want somebody to try to come up and buy him. Put him in for Koulibaly for now. I know he's not in like the greatest shape or form. I'm also gonna put in Jorginho for Kovacic. And then I'm gonna put in Mason Mount for Havertz as well. So we have a couple of, you know, fresh faces for the first team. We have Tiago Silva, Jorginho, and Mount. That way we still keep, you know, a good chunk of our, like, I feel like our anchor players down, but we are also still getting some, you know, some new fresh faces in there. I was kind of thinking about putting in Odie. All right, so actually, you know, let's put in, let's put in Hudson here. I'm gonna put in Hudson. So we have Hudson, Mount, Jorginho, and Tiago Silva all starting instead of 
uh, you know, our normal players. I can also put in actually Asby Liqueta as well. Uh, that way maybe James can get a little break and Asby Liqueta can get a little bit happy maybe having to to play. All right, so let's get right into this match. We have Asby Liqueta, Hudson, uh, Jorginho, Mount, and Thiago Silva playing in this match. We are home against Fulham, so hopefully Fulham doesn't give us too much of a problem and we can... Uh, can win this I, i'm hoping hoping that we can win this i made a lot of substitutions so or a lot of uh changes excuse me so we don't have enough substitutions to put in our full team so we kind of are gonna have to do deal with what our team is come on boys then i'm liking our chances we're looking like we're pretty good looks like we have okay that's okay looks like we have some like fire in us though and which I like to see. Yes, fantastic. Let's go Pulisic. I think Pulisic was trying to give it to Mason Mount, but I don't I don't know. I don't want to say. Oh, that was a nice shot though, man. Hudson, very proud to see you taking that shot. Love that. Yes. Hey, let's go, Conte. <laughs> Conte is coming in like, don't worry, guys. You know, sometimes I score, sometimes I just chill, but today I'm scoring. That makes me so happy. <laughs> 26 minutes in. I'm actually going to jump in now. I just realized it was 26 minutes in. I feel like when I watch the sim, I just kind of get sucked in and I like don't really can't. I don't really realize how fast time is moving, you know, in the game. Donnarumma. Mwah, man. Tiago, I need you to do, do something, man. I know you're not happy at the club, but like we're trying to get you sold and like, you know, out of here. So can you just do good? <laughs> so somebody wants to buy you, please. Oh, no. I can't believe I lost that one. I thought we had it. All right. That's going to be the end of the first half. Uh, not too shabby, though, honestly. I'm pretty happy that we're 1-0 at the moment. Playing with the players, you know, that we don't typically play with. But it is good to see how they play. Uh, get a better feel for them. I definitely think that um, Hudson's pretty quick. You know, he adds a little bit of speed. Tiago obviously is just kind of un poquito slow, man. Asby Lequet is not that bad, uh, like pace wise. I mean, he's slow, but he's not as bad as like I thought he was going to be. Mm, yeah, that was fantastic, Tiago. That's what we love to see right there, that defending. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. I got scared right there. I was like, oh, man, if they score this. Not gonna lie, we're not doing too great on the second half in regards to like like attacking and being a little bit more dominant. We're definitely kind of getting, they're kind of dominating us in being off offensive. We're definitely not being very offensive right now. Kind of just like sitting back, it feels like. I know it sounds really weird, but boom, 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 oh! Mm. It was offsides, which is fine. I kind of figured it was going to be offsides anyways, but you had to try, you know? Ooh, let's go. Oh no. Oh, come on, chill. Well, how are you just going to give the ball up like that? Oh, God. I thought... Oh, I thought I was going though. Oh, God, no. Oh, my... Bruh. Bruh. I'm not going to lie. My brain right there completely shut off. I was like, wait. it Like, the game kept lobbing me to different players automatically. And I was just like, wait, who am I? Where am I going? What is this? Oh my god, no, no, no. I shouldn't have done that. You got this, Mount. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Mason Mount with the goal of dreams. Look at him go. <laughs> Fantastic. I actually didn't think it wasn't a finesse shot. So I thought the I thought the keeper was gonna get that, but that is what it is. Let's go, baby. Alright, let's go ahead and skip this. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. Not gonna lie, has anybody else's uh like game been weird for me ever since the update on like yeah the latest update um when it comes to me holding like box to skip stuff on career mode it doesn't skip it's like really weird has, has anybody else had a problem like that i don't know if that's just like maybe that's always been there and i just never noticed it but i've never had an issue where like skipping like it just wouldn't skip no matter how much i hold down box but yeah if you, if you have the same thing uh comment down in the comment section let me know i'm not crazy come on baby oof that was passed right 10 but no big deal 93rd minute that is game 2-0 against Fulham. let's go all right so the stats for the match are we had four shots they had five shots we had three on target and they had two on target our shot accuracy was obviously a lot better than theirs. Our passing accuracy, though, not so much. They were a little bit better at passing than we were. All right, so here we go. Uh, another win. How long will this run go on? We won't stop winning for a while. Against your big rivals, how does that win feel? We defended really well. Have you got the edge on them now? Uh, I'm going to say we, uh, 
we have to take pride in our work. All right, so it looks like we have a notification for Axel, who is um, happy that we're loaning him out. So we haven't really heard anything from um, from Abraham about the, the transfer yet. Hopefully the deal doesn't fall through. Uh, Mount scores in Chelsea's 2 nil win over a full hand. Let's go. Okay, so the transfer window is now open and we have nine messages in our inbox now, which is kind of scary. So I'm going to show you guys what happened. It looks like we have our monthly youth report, which is... Oh, actually, no. Uh, let me... Let, let's check out our monthly scouting report. Oh, no, that wasn't our scouting report. Here's our scouting report. So let's look at our scouting reports really quick. Um, we don't want him. We don't want him. We don't want him. We don't want him. We do want him. 69 to 94. We're gonna keep scouting, um, Alfonso right now, just in case. Let's see who else we have. We're gonna get rid of Ruben. He's 86. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign. I'm gonna go ahead and sign no. All right, and here we go. We have all of our players leaving us. Christensen, who left us. We have Alfonso who left us, we have a uh, Willie who left us, we have um, Antonio who left us, and we have Jorginho who left us. So we are being left with one CM short for sure that we're utilizing. So right now we have 151 million in our bank account, and that is not counting what we got for Abraham. So I'm gonna wait a couple of days to see what happens with Abraham. Hopefully he can transfer and we can get another player in. So here it is. It looks like Abraham has sold he's officially gone he's off the team no more abraham so that means that we are really in a need for a striker and a cm uh rotation player so please comment down in the comment section below who you guys want me to bring in as our rotational striker and our rotational cm because right now we need somebody who can help warner a lot and we also need somebody who can help in case uh, Kovacic is a little bit tired. Because Kovacic's stamina, you know, it's not the greatest one in the world. Um, Havertz is fine. We don't really have to rotate him too much. But we definitely need to bring somebody in who can replace Warner and replace Kovacic when they're tired just to give them a nice little break. Like I said, we still have Mason Mount who can be a rotational player for Havertz. We're good here. We're good with Tamori. Uh, I do want to start playing Tamori a little bit more. So it is game day today against Crystal Palace. Like I said, comment down in the comment section below who you would love to see me bring to Chelsea in regards to CM and Strikers. Honestly, Zayek and Pulisic have been fantastic. We have Hudson who will rotate in for them. Uh, but let's get right into today's game. I kind of want to... I kind of want to play... Let's let's take out Koulibaly today and let's actually play Tamori. We don't really play Tamori too often, so I'm going to put in Tamori today. Aspie Liquetta is a little bit tired. Could actually play in Mason Mount. I, Mason played in the last game, though. So... So the only rotation I'm really going to be doing for this game is just putting in Tamori um, for Koulibaly. We could play Mason Mount again, but I want to give Havertz a game. Uh, I didn't, you know, he didn't play last game. So let's go ahead. Let's see what happens against Crystal Palace. We are the home team. So hopefully we can do something really nice here and win like 3-0. I'd be so happy with that. I feel like that's a little bit of a stretch, but hopefully we can, you know? Come on, baby. 2-0 would make me ecstatic, honestly. I know I said 3-0. 3-0. 3-0? What? 3-0. <laughs> All right. He's trying to find a, a little window of opportunity here. I like the plays. I'm liking the passing. Ah, we just couldn't keep it, sadly. But that's okay. Ooh, that was... A, that was Oof, that was nice. Very nice. Very nice defending there, guys. Fantastic. Loving what I'm seeing. Yeah, all right. Okay. Doing some little ping, 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 ping pong, ping, <laughs> pinball, pinball moves here. Ooh, ah, that was just right. Oh, so close to being in, but just a little bit too far on the side. This doesn't wear our boys down it too much. It is nil-nil, um, and I feel like it shouldn't be nil-nil at the 25th minute. I am going to go ahead, and I am going to jump in now. Uh, we are playing as Warner, just jumping straight into this. So here, yeah. Hopefully that's not offside. That would make me very chad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. One nil by Havertz. That is, that wasn't offsides, right? No, that was not offsides. Let's go. That was fantastic. I actually, did, I didn't really think about, uh, I didn't think that was going to go as high as it did and kind of like clear the keeper. That's one of my biggest fears about shooting kind of far away. Um, well, not necessarily far, but you know, about that distance is I feel like it's 
it's gonna fall essentially and it's not gonna clear the keeper and the keeper's gonna get it. Ooh, beautiful save, Donnarumma. Beautiful Donnarumma. Beautiful save. No, come on, boys. What was that? We just gave it to them. We didn't turn on our jets, man. <laughs> They're like, bro, I, I don't have any more jet fuel. I don't know what you want me to say. First half, 1-1 one, one first half. Not looking too good, not really happy about this. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and let's sim. I'm getting a little poquito stressed, you know? I don't feel like Crystal Palace should be making me stressed like this, but I am still a little bit stressed. So, it's okay. We're gonna tighten it up right here. We're gonna get 2-1 right here. Boys got this, I have faith in them. <laughs> I don't know what that was. They said, nope. Nope, we're gonna just give it to nothing. What a nice run though. Ooh, fantastic. Yes, come on. Oh, Warner, you need, I need you to like, you know, tighten up your passes, man. I feel like Warner's passes have been a little bit like questionable, a little bit sloppy. On Kovacic, yes, yes. Oh, so close, man, so close. I might make a couple of subs here. We got a few people looking a little bit tired, but we actually, I just realized we don't have anybody to put in for Kovacic. I was like, we need somebody in for Kovacic, but we don't have anybody really in for Kovacic. Um, we could put in Mason Mount for Havertz right now, but I actually feel like everyone's kind of okay. I feel like we'll be okay for the whole game, hopefully. We definitely have to buy another player uh, the next episode, 100%. Not doing too great to get this ball back. I kind of feel like our team's sleeping. Anybody else getting those like vibes where Team's just feeling kind of meh. Like I'm watching this game and I'm like, wow, we actually gave them a goal. I feel like, bro, our team is sleeping right now. Bro, are you guys good? Do y'all need some G Fuel energy using code Ray to get 30% off? Is that what you need? Because you are looking really tired and you're not playing very good right now. Come on, man. All right, I'm gonna jump in. It's 86 minutes in. This is not looking like a good game, honestly. It's not too bad. I mean, we could obviously come back you know, it's we're only losing by one point, but just watching the sim, the players just look very like lackluster. Uh, like I said, I'm just very bored watching them right now. Cross this this way, pop it up there. Yeah, come on, baby, you guys got this. Pass it to Warner. Yes, let's go, baby. You got this. This is you, Havertz. Bang, bang. No, what was that? What was that? I don't even know what that was. Oh no. I don't want to see that replay. Oh, that is the end of the game. One, two. It's not looking too good. We had five shots. Honestly, our shots on target were not that great. We had 60% shot accuracy. We just couldn't keep up sadly with this game. Did you miss the chance to progress today? I'm gonna say uh, we were probably beaten by the better side. Nah, no, I'm gonna say we didn't take our chances. I honestly am kind of upset with the team. I don't feel like we really played very good. I don't really feel like they were kind of came into this game like with that mindset, I feel like they came into this game with just like a, oh, it's this team, or oh, like no big deal. Cause I even said that, I was like, oh, I feel like we should win three nil, <laughs> two nil, I'd be happy. I'm gonna say we didn't take our chances. I'm not happy with the team right now. It must be frustrating to concede so late in the game what happened. I'm gonna say uh, it wasn't due to any lack of effort, I guess. We did put some more in as defense today, so maybe that had a little bit to do with it, but I'm not gonna just blame uh, blame Tamori or anything like that. So this was Zaha, was Zaha a problem. He said he's an excellent player. All right, and then it looks like we have an offer for Pulisic for 80 million, um, which is an undercut. I'm gonna go ahead and reject it because I know you guys do not want Pulisic to go anywhere. I asked you guys earlier in the career mode season and you guys said please do not sell Pulisic. So we're not gonna sell Pulisic. Alright, so it looks like Tamori's been approached and we need to do something with his contract. So because I know you guys really like Tamori and I know you guys obviously want him on the team, I am gonna approach him. Let me see how much longer he has on with us. So let's go ahead and let's negotiate his contract because he doesn't have much longer with us in his contract so let's go ahead and renegotiate him let's do i'm gonna keep him as rotation yeah, that's what they had in mind all right awesome two-year contract i'm okay with that because you guys freaking love the man i'm gonna do no release clause his current wage is sixty-two thousand. 
So I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like 60, I'm gonna do like 68,000. Let's do 68,000. So he gets a bump up by a couple thousand dollars a month and he gets a two year contract. Reasonable offer. So we're keeping Tamori. He's not going anywhere so they can get off of his phone line. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna give him 70, but I'm actually really happy that we got away with the 68. Okay, so today's been a really interesting career mode. Kind of been exciting, kind of been sad. Uh, we had quite a few of our players actually leave today since the, the transfer window is open. Um, but like I said, we're gonna definitely need another striker and another CM. They don't have to be the best in the world because they are going to be secondary players. So they have to be good enough, obviously, to rotate in and to even start sometimes because we are doing like different different squads to start and stuff like that. So they have to be good enough to start. We don't really want anybody we're gonna have to like train up too much. Keep in mind that we, we don't even have 200 million um, in our bank right now we currently have 195 million in our bank so we have to have enough for each player so we're looking at maybe around 100 mil each player or you guys can do the math however you want but if you guys have anybody in mind comment down in the comment section i hope that you enjoyed today's career mode episode if you did don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up it really helps me out in the algorithm if you're new don't forget to hit that sub button with your bunny paw to join the bunny family i love you guys so much i will see you in the next video bye guys